guys, Juggalo here, and welcome to PC News You Can Use. Today's news, Razer announces to plan to unveil the left-handed Naga. Now, what he wanted was 10,000 likes before April 21st. Well, the community responded, and he got 10,000 likes on March 29th. Some of the features are 5,600 DPI, 100 hertz, ultra polling, 200 inches per second, max tracking speed, and uh, 12 button thumb grid so this is really like an MMO kind of mouse and everything alright next up EVGA announces the GeForce GTX 680 Hydro Copper okay here it is look how thin the profile is alright I'm gonna reason why I'm doing this is because Hydro coppers are really restrictive and they suck. It's out there. You ask any water cooler and they'll say yes, the water cooling layout of this block is bad. If they say it's good, they're probably a fanboy. I own EVJ products since I started building my computer builds and everything. This card is really restrictive. Alright, now let's get into the reason why. Let's go through the channel layout. Okay. Here it is. Yeah, that looks fine and dandy that it's like that, but it's really restrictive. Okay? Just the whole layout and everything. Yeah, it looks cool. And then here, I'm not sure if I can do that. Okay, there's the plate itself when it's attached. So you can see it is really, really restrictive. I uh, asked EVGA about this. I'm like, hey, are you going to continue to have these restrictive blocks or is this a different layout? On top of this, this is what gets me, okay? Here's a hydro copper, and I'll show you some more pictures, okay? There's another picture right here. And then here's another picture right here. Oh, wait a minute. Doesn't that look familiar? Oh, yeah, it does. It looks like the 7970 water block that they designed for uh, by Swift Tech. So let me go ahead and scroll down, and I quoted myself and everything so here it is right here it's the same water block same little SLI connectors all it is is a different sticker slapped on the thing really come on now do some innovation stop making your water block so res uh, restrictive and it's Swift Tech that's doing it so I don't know why Swift Tech continues to come out with really restrictive blocks if you have one block in a loop yeah you're fine if you have multiple blocks you're basically screwing your flow alright next up Intel unveils new 77 motherboards and here it is in all its glory it has 8 3.0 USB ports which is redonkulous let me see if I can get some more pictures up here alright that's the layout and then uh, let's see what else it has. It has two PCI 2.0 and two PCIe and all that good stuff. So I thought they would have 3.0. So it looks like those slots are optional if you want to use them. It has 3.0 times 16 uh, open-ended PCI Express 2.0 times 4. So that's good. It does have 3.0. Alright, next up, LG display, mass production of the world's first plastic e-paper display. And what it is, is I think it's like liquid crystal, and they're able to format it where it acts like a paper. And let me see if I can blow it up. But there it is right there. Now that's really, really cool. How cool is that? That's my uh, cool feature of tech news right there. Alright, next up we have a new heat sink by Fantex Launch PH Tac TC14 CS series C type Premier CPU cooler and here it is. Again, a lot of these coolers are really really huge. Um, I'm just wondering if they're gonna hinder the kind of RAM that you want. Does it block any RAM slots? All that good stuff. So here it is. Just needed some for uh, what is it, some reviews. And it's available now, apparently. And let's see. The PHTC 
one four CS is seventy five bucks, and then the blue, red, and black edition is close to eighty dollars. So that's a lot of money for that kind of cooler. Next up, AMD releases the Callus application profiles 12.3 cap one. They also released new drivers and everything, so this should fix some problems. Uh, Dirt 3 fixed corruption in particular scenes when crossfire is enabled. Uh, has Rin, uh, excuse me, Ridge Racer fixes and Test Drive Unlimited 2 fixes as well. Next up, we have Sony PlayStation. It's going to be codenamed Orbis and use a AMD times 86 Tech uh, 64, excuse me, Southern Ireland GPU. So that's pretty much it. There's no other specs on what it can do, what the output is, and all that stuff. Next up, Radeon HD 7970 price cuts may not come anytime soon. The reason why is the GTX 680, which is its competitor, is basically sold out everywhere as well. I got my GTX 680 and they only had one left in stock at Micro Center. They were going to try to charge $569. Luckily, I brought the new egg, and I said, "Look, I can get this for four hundred ninety-nine dollars." So he dropped it down to four hundred ninety-nine dollars. On top of that, I had a coupon, so that helped me out in getting the card. All right. Next up, second wave of, <clears throat> excuse me, G4 GTX, or I should say, GeForce GTX 600 products are due for May. And everything like that would be based on the GK107 chip. And uh, basically, the GK110 will not launch probably until November or October. That's what you really want. So, and they're saying, oh, they could introduce a GTX 690 and it's a dual GK104 card. If they do that, that's just a no no. Use the GK110, it's a far superior chip. Next up, I guess Palette or Palette makes GeForce GTX 680 official, and here it is right here. This is probably guaranteed to give you way better temps than the stock because look, you have three fans going on, beefy cooler. Um, let me go ahead and see if I can give you a front shot of it. There it is right there. So it is definitely a massive cooler. It's going to be a 6 plus 8 PCI Express Power connector, so that will mean better overclocking capabilities if you can. And it will use a 6 phase PWM to make circuit more stable and efficient. So, there it is. Go ahead and check it out. Next up, Zotac GeForce GTX 680 Extreme Edition. Pictured now, this is what they're going to try to do. They're going to try to push two gigahertz out of this card, and this is what it looks like right here. So, it's pretty low profile, it's probably custom PCB design as always. So, there we go. Look at that awesomeness! And it is going to have a 12 phase VRM power supply. So, how awesome is that? So, that means that they're going to try to get the most overclock as they can. And hopefully you can hit, for example, maybe 2.5 gigahertz or more. Now, how awesome would that be? <clears throat> All right, Apple, Sony sued for patent infringement over iTunes, PlayStation Network systems. Basically, the inventor of this patent is suing both these companies and probably a couple others, if I remember correctly. So here's the article here sucks about these patent wars and patent fanboys and all that stuff it's just creating more lawsuits left and right it's not really helping technology at all or anybody really in innovate anything at all because of these patent lawsuits all right next up scythe grand camera cross g uh, excuse me cross cpu cooler goes revision b so apparently it's going to have Revision A, so this is uh, excuse me, Revision B, and this is what the cooler looks like. I think it sort of looks cool because it almost looks like an engine block, you know, and then I would want to like power coat it red or black. I think that would look cool. 
how it performs, I don't know. We gotta look out some reviews when they come out. All right, next up, PNY announces 2133 megahertz and 1866 megahertz of memory to XLR8 lineup. The 2133, $179, 1866, 125, and the 1600 megahertz, it's gonna be $90. So that's for the 16 uh, gig version, four by four. Next, 2 by 4 gigs is going to be basically $90 for 2133 and $60 for 1866. I'm looking for the latencies, and 1866 has 9, 12, 9, 27, and then I'm trying to find another one, and it says CAS 9, 9, 9, 9, 24 timings, and I'm assuming the 2133. I'm trying to look for it right now. It's probably going to have a really high latency. Yeah, it's going to be 9, 12, 11, 27 for their timings. So it's pretty high up there. But then again, you got 21, 33 megahertz of uh, clock speed on the RAM. All right, next up, first single slot air cool GTX 680. I've been wanting them to come out with single slot coolers on these cards or since basically the 260 excuse me 260 but here it is right here it's real thin but the cooler itself extends beyond the PCB so you can get more thermal dissipation and everything so that's pretty awesome alright next up MSI B75 MA TAC P45 motherboard is detailed it has one PCI Express 3.0 times 16 and then one PCI Express 2.0 times one in a PCI legacy slot as well. So let's go ahead and check out the board. Here it is. Nice blue and black color scheme. It has a four pin power connector it looks like. And here's some more pictures of it. And here's what it looks like with the box all fancy and everything. Next up, NVIDIA helps power bid for 2015 moon mission and $30 million in prizes. Basically what they want to do is send a robot Land Rover and explore the moon. That's what I got from this. So this is what they want to do and everything is pretty cool. And uh, let's see where it was created. The 30 million Google Lunar X Prize was created in 2007 by the X Prize Foundation with the global creating lunar exploration missions that are at least 90% privately financed. So that's why they're giving away that nice money. So there you go, that's pretty cool. All right, Ivy Bridge has been overclocked to seven gigahertz. And let's see. I think it ripped the PI in 5.187 seconds when it was at 6961.6 megahertz and then the same chip clocked at 6650.1 megahertz crunch super PI in 5 minutes and then after that it says 2.4 or excuse me, 2.843 seconds. And so here it is right here, the graph and everything on what it did and what it's capable of. So that's pretty awesome. All right, again, they probably have CPUs and everything. And there you go, here's your validation and everything. Next up, Arctic reveals the SRLO Extreme 3 VGA cooler. Practically every combination you can do with your graphics card is listed here, okay? Except for, guess what? The GTX 680. So, people who want an aftermarket cooler for their 680s, 
I don't know, maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. I've seen some guys on overclock.net where they have gotten the cooler to work using 3mm spacers. So, we'll see. Be nice if they had the 680 in there, but it just starts off with 580, no 680. So, yeah, and it doesn't even work with the 7970. It only works with the 7870. So, that's sort of upsetting. Next up, MSI GeForce GTX 680 OC detailed and basically everything all around on this card is faster than stock. So that's all you really need to know pretty much. So um, I'm just trying to figure out, yeah, it's just overclocked a little bit. So it's not that much. Anybody can probably do it by themselves. All right, next up. Galaxy GeForce GTX 680 4 gig card is available or getting ready. So it is in production. It has two, or I should say one 6 pin and then one 8 pin for power. And then let's see, the has a strong 5 plus 2 phase VRM. So that looks uh, probably custom PCB as always. So let's go ahead and check it out. There you go, there's a card in the die. And then here it is right here. And the back. And then again, the front. Thank you guys for your support and subscribing. And I guess that's it. Comment, subscribe, rate this video. Like that video. Or whatever you want to do. Have a great day.